Hello, Demon is back. In this video, we're going to use Admiral Fruits from One Piece in Black Fruits. But before starting, be sure we support by Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Where the actor slam on oh, there is forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so we're gonna start this video by looking for fruits, right? So for Admiral Fruits, we're gonna use Kisaru's Light Fruit, Akainus Magma Fruit, and Aokiji's Ice Fruit. But Gamer Nom, there are other Admirals such as Fujitora and Green Bull. Guys, we're not gonna use those fruits, Gravity Fruit, and I forgot the other one. So let's search for the Magma Fruit first. There you go. And we're gonna store this one. Guys, we're gonna use uh, the fruits based on how fast you can grind with them, okay? So next one is the Ice Fruit, and last one is, there you go the light fruit okay guys so what do you think is the first fruit that we're gonna use as if you're gonna ask me the fastest fruit to use in grinding as a starter is the light fruit okay not the ice fruit not the magma fruit again it's the light fruit why gamer nom i'm gonna show you why okay so first let's unstore the light fruit there you go and let's consume or eat the fruit now there you go looks great and for those who don't know, this is the fruit used by Kizaru, right? One of the admirals, again, of the marines in One Piece. So guys, we're gonna start with the bandits, guys, M1. There you go. One thing about light fruit is it has M1 left clicks, which makes it a lot faster. Again, it is a Logia type fruit. So there will be no problems once you reach a specific level. Because again, Logia effect. There you go, guys. So guys, there are no problems here in grinding but our target here is to unlock mastery 10 skill and that is the light flight why guys it is important to make things faster by traveling faster right because again we grind from island to island so guys after mastery 10 that is level 12 we're gonna use the light flight to go to the next island and that island is not the jungle but the fountain city okay so at the fountain city we're gonna use wall strat on Gali Pirates, there you go. Just use left clicks, and that's it, guys. Uh, when using your left click, make sure to click slowly because if you click faster, you will knock back this Gali Pirate and he will use his skill, and you will most likely die just one hit. Okay, it's enough for you to die. Okay, so again, click slowly. Also, to make things faster, you can use a code. For example, guys, uh, I think there's a code Straw Hat name. Yeah, we're gonna use a single code on this whole video go straw hat main for two times experience there you go see that 20 minutes and that's enough so left clicks and that's it make sure to last hit your enemy using your fruit okay there you go so put all your stats on the blocks fruit there you go and grind here so gamer know what is our target level this target level is level 60 so once you reach level 60, we will head to our next island for the stats. Defense really doesn't matter because we are going to use our Logi effect. So guys, at level 60, we will unlock that effect. And now let's head to the desert. Okay, first target, the desert bandits. Guys, don't worry. Just use left clicks and that's it. I suggest defeat bandits one at a time so that the moment you defeat the fourth one, the first bandit that you defeated will spawn already okay so guys again i i forgot to show you the skills we have the light ray z skill and the barrage of light wait i'm gonna show it to you there you go that's the barrage of light z skill is uh, this one okay guys level 75 next up is the desert officer oh no clothes <laughs> don't worry after this quest we will uh, rejoin the game there you go this is the real face and uh how a desert officer should look like okay there you go target here is level 90 guys level 90 just a reminder guys we will be using all three fruits again not including the gravity and the other one so for the stats here is the stats again stat recap 20 melee defense and block fruits 236 so far next island track there you go frozen village is our target now no more two times experience from here Okay, from here on, there you go. Target here is no bandits. Guys, we're gonna skip, what do you call this? 
the snowman, right? They're too far away from the quest giver and they're far apart. So don't forget to buy this one, air jump for 10k and hacky. You can also buy the fla uh, flash step, but you need 130,000 bellies, which we don't have yet. Later, we're gonna buy those, okay? Okay, guys, so continue defeating the snow bandits until you reach level 105. And after that, we can start defeating the boss in this island, the Yeti. So guys, Yeti guys, uh, my technique here, you're just gonna ask, I'm just showing you the skills, right? Just stay here in the ice area and then use your left click and dash. Okay, you will dash further when you're stepping on the ice, comparing it to the snow, okay? So there you go, left click, dash, see that guys? And once he uses his skill, just don't get near the Yeti and there you go, very easy, okay? For the new viewers out there, have you heard of a server hopping? So from here on, we're gonna server hop bosses. This is what I do on the first C once I reach Frozen Village. So guys, there you go. We got Yeti Fur. So again, we're gonna just keep on defeating this boss until you reach level 130, okay? I hope that's clear. 130. And after that, guys, we'll be heading to Marine Fortress. So don't forget to buy... There you go, flash step. Oh, that's just 100,000. Sorry, my bad. So there you go, guys. Marine Fortress. Again, 130. Target is not Greybeard, but this one. Vice Admiral. So technique here, guys. Just lure him here. Jump onto this side. Wait for him to jump towards you and then jump again on the wall. And we're gonna do wall strap. Same with the Galley Pirate. See that, guys? No damage. Again, Click slower because again, there's a chance that he will use his long range attack if you push him using your consecutive M1 left clicks. Okay? So just be more patient. There you go. Also, I bought the Dark Cape for 50 to or 60,000 in one of these towers. And there you go, guys. We've unlocked all the skills. I'm going to show it to you. This is the V skill. Okay? The ulti. And that is the Z skill. This is the X skill. And C skill, reflection kick. There you go. Boom. Okay, guys, so I think we're done. Next up, guys, next island is the prison. So I think here, guys, uh, level 200, I think we cannot defeat the warden yet, but I want to grind mastery. That's why we're going to start grinding here and eat the ice fruit. There you go. Finally, guys, this is the fruit used by Aokiji, the ex-admiral. Yes, for those watching, you know what I'm talking about. But for those who are not watching One Piece, better watch it now <laughs> to know the characters. Okay, so for the first skill, we get the Ice Pierce. Again, this is a Logia Fruit and it has a Trident. Okay, not a Sword, Trident. Ice Trident. Now we've unlocked the next skill, Ice Surge at Master 25. So guys, the only hard part is grinding Mastery, right, for the skills. So that's why we use the Light Fruit, okay? Because again, Logia plus faster traveling and... It has a light sword. There you go. For the third skill, guys, we got the ice bird. So this is my favorite skill because it can stun the enemy, which will give you more time to M1 left click them. <laughs> Anyways, at level 220, we can start defeating Warden. So, guys, I don't usually do this. Oh, we've unlocked Glacial Epoch. V skill. Oh, guys, by the way, Again, you don't need to beat the prisoners. I just decided to go here earlier, like 20 levels, because I want some mastery for the ice fruit before we fight the warden, okay? So as you can see, I am fighting both warden and chief warden. Even though we cannot start the chief warden quest, you can still get masteries from him. So if you're gonna server hop and you see the, we call this, the chief warden, then defeat him too, okay? So there you go, guys. As you can see, we're already defeating chief warden at this level. Actually, guys, this is the fastest way or uh, fa best area to grind your level. So, from 220, you can grind until 350. We're gonna skip. I think it's the Coliseum, but I almost forgot because, as you can see, at the first area of the Skylands, we're not grinding there. Also, at the Coliseum, there, the, the mobs there are so far away, so far apart. So, guys, 240, you can start defeating the Swan to this, this mob or this boss gives lots of experience as long as you can defeat it so as you can see i am uh, creating distance because this dude can one hit us actually one skill <laughs> so yeah as you can see there you go 
is covered in ice using your see that that scale that can one hit you <laughs> anyways guys this is our stat and i just discovered this <laughs> it's been a long time guys finally the developers added an npc for both here both dealers <laughs> yeah finally you can buy a ship okay guys so next island is the magma village i decided that to use magma fruit here because again we're fighting a magma admiral again guys notice we're gonna skip all the mobs here uh, military soldiers and military spies you can grind military soldiers because they don't have hockey but uh, for the military spies they have hockey but they're easier to defeat also uh, more info there's a random mob or military detective that will spawn that has hockey so yeah I don't suggest grinding here just grind with this one so okay, we are fighting the magma, magma Admiral now. Technique here, just wait for him to use the skill and you are free to use your skills on him. You can also use your left click and dash and then after that, wait for him to use his own skill. There you go and that's it. Ice bird, left clicks, dash or use your skills to push him away. There you go, almost done. Wait for his skill and that's it. Again, we're gonna defeat him using our glacial epoch. Obviously, oh, we almost died there. There you go, sorry, use the ice pierce. So again guys, our target level here is 425. Why 425 gamer nom? Guys, even though uh, the first mob at the whirlpool, the underwater city is good for grinding, I prefer beating bosses. There you go, 425, we're gonna skip all the mobs at the uh, underwater city. Here are the stats. Go. Hmm, where will we put our boss? Yeah. Blocks root, all stats to blocks root, 958. Okay, next up guys, Underwater City. So let's fast forward this one. There you go, okay, yes, we can walk on water. So underwater City, target here is Fishman Lord, okay? So I think guys, we're gonna change our fruit here, right? We're just gonna defeat one Fishman Lord using the ice fruit and then for the next one we're gonna use magma fruit so guys you can do wall strat here but if you're gonna use a sword or your trident you will get damaged he has a skill to damage you so yeah that one guys that one there you go but you can tank it actually okay so guys now we're gonna change our fruit we're gonna use our third fruit our final fruit and for me guys this fruit is hmm, has the highest damage output compared to all fruits the best fruit for grinding i think is the light fruit but on the third c i think you can also use the magma fruit awaken okay awaken but the problem here is this fruit has no m1 but you can use your f skill to damage your enemy okay the magma floor so guys i'm gonna show it to you magma floor there you go only damage there is no duration for this f skill but the problem here is it's slow, yes. But if you're uh, the you girl, this your enemy has no hockey, you can use this for eternity. <laughs> okay, guys. Anyways, we're gonna go back to the Fishman Lord. There you go. Magma Fist is one of the best skills because this one stuns the enemy. Magma Clap, 1,180 damage. Magma Eruption. This skill is not that good, but yeah, at least it can damage your enemy, right? So for the Fishman Lord, you can get his Trident, and this uh, boss has two sets of HP. Oh, oh, we have a Light Fruit user here. So are we gonna fight him? No, we're just gonna use our V skill. Yeah, guys, we got the Magma Meteors. So if you want full damage out from this one, make sure to fire this from afar. But sadly, we're just gonna use it on top of our enemies. Okay, guys. So target level here is 500 and after that we will head to our next island but before that stat check first here are stats 175 milli defense 215 and all stats will be put on block speeds. so next up skylands upper sky again i told you we skipped the first part of the skylands we will go straight to the whisper so guys we're gonna defeat whisper here until 600 37 I think 
I forgot the specific number. Also, there's another boss here. Oh, we're we're gonna I'm gonna show it to you later. Anyways, guys, on defeating Whisper, you can use the Stone Strat. So just go on top of the stone, and he cannot damage you with his cannon. But guys, don't uh, go too near Whisper because you will get damaged by the impact. Okay? So after every skill, make sure to create distance. If you're gonna use your X skill, guys, make sure to lure him again outside of the stone. Okay? Or use it to last it. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna show you the other boss here. There you go. Thunder God. So, guys, you can get his pole. This one's really good because you need this in order to unlock pole V2, and that pole V2 is really good for PvP. Anyways, guys, I think the best combo of this fruit is uh, V skill, C skill, and F. I'm gonna show it to you later. Uh, by the way, I already did that combo, but it's only the V and the C skill. Ah, uh, no, V and F skill. There you go, and F skill for the additional damage. Oh, sorry, wasn't able to click F. Anyways, you can damage your enemy. I think maximum of 10k using just V and F skill. For the stats, here it is. There you go, guys. Level 637. We will now head to the final island. So here are the stats. There you go, Fountain City, and defeat Gali Pirates. So guys, if you're gonna ask me, if you're gonna head to the second sea, grind this mob until you reach level 900 plus. Yes. But if you're just gonna stay here, sure you can grind this one until level 675. And after that, you can start defeating Cyborg. Yes, Cyborg is the boss in this island. Gamer why 637? Because Logia effect will take effect at level 637. So here it is, Cyborg. A while ago, you told us that you don't uh, suggest uh, fighting Cyborg. Yes, guys, aside from there are lots of enemies hunting this boss. They will kill you most of the time. This boss is really tanky. See that, guys? The damage is high. But the only good thing here is that, yeah, you can level up fast. But again, no, actually no, because it will take time for you to defeat this one. And if you die, the HP of this boss will regenerate really fast. The only good thing is when you get the accessory, yeah, that accessory is better than the Dark Cape. Everything else will make things a lot slower. So guys, there you go. We're almost done with this boss. So again, we've used not all Admiral Fruits, but some. There you go. And if you're gonna ask me again, my favorite for grinding among the three fruits that I showed you, light fruit, but for uh, other things such as boss fights and CVs, oh, we got the gold shades, I prefer the magma fruit. So there you go, guys, cool shades. Let's equip this one. This one's better compared, uh, comparing it to black cape. And I think guys, that is for this video. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this one. For some requests, just comment it in the comment section. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.